Hey, all my friends in Maryland, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Okay, week two. You know, all the warm and fuzzy, all the good feeling of the conference is starting to wear off because <laughs> now you're back, back in the grind, right? So how do we keep the momentum? Well, we talk about systems. So for leadership in these changing times, and if you want to be a community builder, then you got to be great at systems thinking. So I've posted a plethora, that's a big word, of systems. Systems on how to lead you, systems on how to lead others, systems on how to affect change in the community. And I'll do that for the next two weeks, providing systems, systems that you can use, <clears throat> systems that your staff can use, and systems that you can use in your apartment. And remember, a system is just a deeply integrated set of parts that were organized and integrated to accomplish a specific task. And sometimes systems organically grow up and take hold. I don't know, it's just what we do around here. Or systems are intentionally built and designed for a specific outcome. The question is, are the systems you're using what the times require? So systems. I've also posted a really cool exercise that you can do with your team to try to gain greater alignment. They better understand you, you better understand them. Understanding your leadership style, understanding their leadership style to move you closer to that alignment necessary to get things done. Look, there's no doubt you're important. There's no doubt that you touch every citizen from cradle to grave. And when you get better, your department gets better. And when your department gets better, the community gets better. I look forward to seeing those commitments. And thank you to those of you that have made your commitment. We'll talk to you soon. Take care, everybody.